Hello and welcome to GameCube Classics. In this installment, I'm taking a look at Ikaruga, released by Treasure in 2003 for the GameCube and originally in 2001 for Arcades and Dreamcast. This is one of the best shooters ever made, and certainly on the GameCube. Uh, this is an amazing title everyone should own. It's also available in other formats. You can get it on Xbox Live Arcade, but I'm only going to be talking about the GameCube version this time. So, we're going to do this. I'm no good at this game, but if you do something ridiculous, like play the game for 40 hours straight, you unlock um, free play, which basically means infinite continues. Ikaruga is a tape scrolling shooter with a polarity system between white or positive and black or negative. Enemies shoot at you under these two different polarities. If you're the same polarity, you can absorb their shots, and if you are the opposite polarity, you um, take damage from their shots. You can absorb the shots to use up a, a powerful bomb. You get double the damage, or you deal double the damage, and you get double the points if you defeat enemies of the opposite um, color. So this constant dynamic of switching back and forth really um, adds a lot of depth to the gameplay and makes Ikaruga one of the more interesting experiences you'll find. For people who are exceptionally good, you know, will only attack certain enemies with at, at certain times. But like I said, I am certainly not very good at this game. It's everything I can do just to survive. those who have um, a Tate monitor, this game does support um, a vertical mode which would use the entire screen. Well, let's continue. Hooray for the unlocked free play mode after I spent a ridiculous amount of time in this game. I think it literally is like you have to spend 40 hours or something in, in actual gameplay. But I have owned this game ever since it was released, so, you know, over the years it has accumulated, I guess.
game has some of my favorite music that I can think of um, when I think of the GameCube um, era. Incredibly beautiful to look at, but of course you can't spend any time admiring the visuals when you're actually playing it. Ah, crap! Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that always happens. Hooray for free, free play! Free play to the rescue! Even cheating, this game is so visceral looking, and it's, it's just still enjoyable, you know? be able to see the game through the end. Boss defeated through the power of free play. The game controls great too, um, I'm using a D-pad here, I'm not using the original GameCube controller, I'm in fact using a Wii Classic controller that has an adapter to, um, to the uh, the GameCube. I've covered the, after, the adapter before, so if you're curious you can check out that video. Suicidal enemies. Well, anyway, that'll do it for this video, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Oh, fuck. <laughs>